Well, my name is Father Boniface. I am the director for the Institute for Ministry Formation and also spiritual director at St. Vincent Seminary. Grateful to make this journey through Lent with you as we reflect on the readings for each Sunday of Lent and also homilies that have been provided for us. And for this third Sunday of Lent, we have readings from Exodus 17, Romans chapter 5, and John chapter 4. We also have a homily provided by Father Edward Mazik, rector of St. Vincent Seminary. And as I mentioned in previous videos, for our meditation, I want to focus on a single question. How do I see God's love for me in this passage or in these passages? Father Ed draws from all of the scriptures and points to the fact that we can endure life's hardships because we have confidence in God's love. God supports us. He carries us through. Whether it's the woman at the well to whom Jesus goes, he meets her in her shame. He meets her and exposes her sinfulness, her brokenness. And then he takes her hand. He affirms her, gives her hope, and sends her forth with love. The Israelites struggling, grumbling in the desert. God goes to them, speaks to them, rescues them, lifts them up. We can endure life's hardships because we have confidence in the love of God. He meets us in our greatest struggles. He meets us in our deepest shame. If we let him, if we allow our hearts to be softened, the woman at the well, as Father Ed pointed out, put up resistance at first hardened herself against Jesus at first. And we're all tempted to do that because we've been hurt in those areas that we've failed and the areas we've hurt others. But we don't have to be afraid. Jesus comes to us in all of the gentleness and saving grace of the Son of God. Let us expose those areas in our hearts that we're most in need of his healing grace. Let us expose those areas in our lives where we're struggling the most in our hardships, where life seems most difficult, and just hand them over. Give them to Jesus. We'll take that now into our time of prayer. Jesus, we entrust to you the burden, the hardships that we carry. We entrust to you the areas of our hearts that are most wounded, bruised, where we feel most ashamed. We entrust those areas to you, knowing that you stand with us, Support us. You are our strength. We need you. Thank you for your love. And we can remain in that place of contemplative prayer, just resting in the presence of Jesus. Please. Check out when you get the chance imf.stvincentseminary.edu where we feature all of the things that the Institute for Ministry Formation is doing. And email us at imf.stvincent.edu. It's great to journey through Lent with you in this way. <laughs>